ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. And I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. Tonight, President Trump is back in the White House for the first time since he went to the hospital Friday because of COVID-19. He spent three nights being treated at Walter Reed Medical Center. As ABC's Elizabeth Schulze reports, the president is tweeting he will be back on the campaign trail soon. Having returned to the White House, President Trump is once again downplaying the threat of the coronavirus, even after he spent three nights in the hospital getting treated for COVID-19. President Trump departed Walter Reed Medical Center this evening, within minutes of arriving back, taking off his mask on the White House balcony. President Trump tweeting he's feeling really good, and despite undergoing experimental treatments, needing supplemental oxygen, and stating and in a video it, Sunday that he gets it, it, the president saying, don't be afraid of COVID, don't let it dominate your life. Those words unlikely to resonate with the families of the more than 210,000 Americans who've died from the disease. Joe Biden making that point tonight, appearing on NBC for a town hall event. 210,000 people have died. You have, uh, you know, about 1,000 people a day getting the coronavirus, 50,000 a week. I mean, so it's a great concern. I hope no one walks away with the message thinking that it is not a problem. It's a serious problem. After sending mixed messages about the president's health, the White House physician giving the president the all clear to leave the hospital. So he may not entirely be out of the woods yet, the team and I agree that all our evaluations, and most importantly, his clinical status, support the president's safe return home, where he'll be surrounded by world-class medical care 24-7. Returning to a White House that is now its own COVID hotspot. In total, 18 people who were around the White House and President Trump now have COVID-19. Among them, Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany, who briefed reporters as recently as Sunday without wearing a mask. Sources now telling ABC News staffers at the White House are fearful and anxious amid the COVID outbreak. Before he even left the hospital tonight, President Trump said he'll be back on the campaign trail soon. The Trump campaign tells ABC News the president intends to participate in next week's debate with Joe Biden. Biden saying he looks forward to debating President Trump. Elizabeth Schulz, ABC News, Walter Reed Medical Center in Maryland. ABC 10 News reporter Anthony Pura spoke with a San Diegan familiar with the White House about the type of medical care that's available to the president there. You know, the, the medical office in the White House is part of the military office. Barry Jagoda is the author of Journeys with Jimmy Carter and Other Adventures in Media. He was an assistant to former President Carter, a television advisor when Carter ran for president. Jagoda also spent several years working with Network News. He shared with ABC 10 News what he knows of the medical facilities in the White House. All the staff members in the White House had access uh, to the uh, doctors there. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't go there for an annual checkup. But if you had some kind of an emergency case, you could go up to the medical office and uh, they'd, they'd help you out. If it was a serious problem, they'd say, look, uh, you better go to the hospital. The president will have access to what Jagoda says is similar to an emergency room after he spent three nights in the hospital after testing positive for COVID-19. It can handle pretty much uh, anything that comes up unless it's something serious, like a serious infection, in which case that too can be handled as long as you bring in all the gear and all the testing so you can test the lungs and test the oxygen levels and that sort of thing. However, at this point, it's unknown if that's what's being done for the president. Because we don't really know. We're not being told what uh, has happened. And one of the advantages to a president of uh, uh, going into the White House for treatment as opposed to in a hospital is that uh, it's pretty secretive. And uh, no one has to, to say anything. According to the president's doctor, though the president may not be out of the woods yet, he's safe to return home where he'll get medical care 24 seven. There's several doctors working in the military office of the president. For example, there's a, a one doctor that pays a, more attention to the first lady. And of course there's a, one doctor that pays full-time attention to the president. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News.